It's been a tough haul for the goat. First off, there's the Bible, which is all full of goat sacrifices and parables about how sheep go to heaven, but goats go to hell. Then there's the whole thing about Satan taking the form of a goat when he's on earth. And, of course, there's the scapegoat. The Israelites placed all their sins on one of their goats and then just sent the poor guy into the desert. The disrespect carried on into American kitchens. It's one of the most popular meats in the world, but in the U.S., nobody seemed all that interested in goat, even as meat fads like emu and ostrich came and went. By making a whole mess of delicious dishes out of goat, with the help of super chef Michael Salakis, who owns Anthos and several other New York restaurants, I was hoping in my own little way to rehabilitate the lowly goat. But first, I had to kill it. You see, goat isn't like cows or hogs. You won't find it in the grocery stores, not just yet, anyhow. And there aren't big slaughterhouses to process them. So a lot of goat in this country is slaughtered on the farms themselves, often by the customer. The immigrant groups that are the biggest consumer of goats seem to prefer it this way. They can butcher it halal or get their own cuts just like they want them. I was driven more by curiosity, I guess. Three decades of eating meat, and I'd never actually killed anything I'd eaten. I think now I know why. Slaughtering one of God's creatures is kind of a piteous thing, even when it's done as humanely as possible. I'll spare the details, but just know that there's a lot of goat fear and a lot of goat blood involved. And yet, almost as soon as my uncle, who raises the goats in central Jersey, and I had skinned it, I was back to being a carnivore. Here's why. This meat looked delicious. No antibiotics, no being frozen and shipped across the country. We just hung the goats for a day to let the meat age, and then we cooked it. In honor of the ethnic enthusiasms for goat, we made a Mexican birria, an Indian curry, an Italian capretto, and a sort of Greek pate that was kind of amazing. But it was the whole goat, roasted for six hours over a charcoal on a spit that was the crowning achievement. Chef Salakis, a Greek-American who grew up roasting whole animals, is sort of a genius, but I think I'll be able to do pretty well on my own the next time. Just secure the thing with U-clamps and heavy gauge wire from Home Depot and baste it constantly with a mixture of lemon, olive oil, salt, and oregano. It was good. So good, in fact, that if goats really go to hell, with all that slow roasting and fire, I might just want to join them there. This is Nathan Thornburg for Time.com.